Okay, guys, this is the stuff right here. <clears throat> I have one egg. I have one third cup of half and half. I have my, <clears throat> sorry, my nutmeg grinder. A little, I'm gonna have a pinch of salt. I'm gonna have a half of a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm gonna have another half of a teaspoon of, um, this is just cinnamon sugar. Cinnamon with a little bit of sugar in it. You can buy it or you can make it or whatever, but that's what it is. And I, I buy at, um, at the supermarket, I'll buy stale bread and get, get a loaf for a dollar specifically to make French toast. So first off, I'm gonna crack my egg. Get my egg over here. Boop, boop. Crack the egg. Scramble up the egg. This is basically just a simple custard is all this thing is. Put my half and half in. Doot. Put my, I'm gonna get a little pinch, a little basically just a pinch of salt because it's gotta have salt in it. And now my vanilla. Boop. And now my cinnamon sugar. Boop. And now my nutmeg. If you guys don't have a nutmeg grinder or you're gonna do whatever, Please, I'll say this, don't buy the stuff that's already ground. Uh, get a grinder or grate it yourself because it will make a huge difference. And I, and I absolutely love this, this uh, little grinder thing over here. I actually have to go get some, get some more. It's got enough in there to do, to do for a little bit here. But uh, it's really cheap, actually, if you get it in the Mexican section. But uh, doing that is just makes a whole bunch of sense. And now I'm going to mix this guy up. Get it all really good and incorporated. And this is just, this is just custard, is all this thing is. It's a glorified custard. You can, in essence, make uh, bread pudding with this stuff. So, that is what it is. Oh, and in the background I have real maple syrup. That's gonna be the uh, money shot on the end. <clears throat> and now, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna put that over there. Oh, and I also have my pan preheated at medium high, that's number five for me. So now I'm going to cut up my bread. I'm gonna get four slices out of this guy. And here's the other trick right here, what you wanna do, you gotta soak these guys pretty good. They got, you need them to soak up all the, um, all the egg and cream mixture and stuff. And so they're basically, it is a lot like, <laughs> it really is um, bread pudding for all intent and purpose really. So I'm gonna, I want this stuff to get soaked up really good. This little, my little plastic container is a little small, but it'll work. You just want to make sure that you get your stuff all really good and soaked up. And it's going. I used to I used to make this when I was a kid all the time, but with white bread. <laughs> you know how you have your white bread. All right, we're getting there. I'm just trying to hurry it along. Actually, I'm going to let it sit. I'm going to let it sit and stir it around and get all that egg. Get all the egg and... Um, half and half out of there, so I'm gonna take a second. Okay guys, well, it has soaked all the, or the, um, the wet stuff up, eggs and cream and stuff, so we're all good with that. And over here, I have my, my pan is plenty hot. I also am using my clarified butter uh, butter makes everything better. I don't really like, I, I really don't like using um, vegetable oil for everything because it is what it is. And I'm actually going to turn that back just a little hair. And now we're going to put, put it in. Let's get in here. See, it pretty much all came out. 
And now we're gonna watch this guy <laughs> do his tricks. And the funny thing is, I I um I have been cooking a long time, but I really love just watching the stuff cook. Watch what it does. It's just it's really interesting to me. I mean, you're looking for certain colors of browns and stuff to get that you know to get that Maillard thing and stuff going on. And uh, I don't know, it is what it is, and it's just. I have always loved just cooking in general. The whole the whole process to it as well. I mean, just going to the market and doing that thing and uh, price comparison and all that. Uh, back, in, back in the old days, I was actually, uh, um, I used to uh, uh, be a purchasing agent for uh, Doubletree. And I'll tell you, they, they buy a lot of stuff. Woo! And they get a big deal they get a break on a percentage break because it was I think it was uh two or three million dollars a year I was I was purchasing but it is what it is and god that was a long time ago so we're getting the color that we want we're getting there I'm gonna get my get my little bit of butter over here for my plate and stuff set up in a second well this stuff here just gets a little bit more color on the other side and in essence it will just be you know bread pudding I guess you could put raisins and stuff like that but it's just a simple little thing and it's really good and like I said if you if you if you guys can please make yourself um, I'll do I'll do a video on how to clarify butter because I I actually go through I go through a lot of this stuff instead of using vegetable oil because eh, Watch how they make that. It's not the best thing in the world how they make vegetable oil. No, 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 no. And canola oil and all that. Ugh. Although the avocado stuff is, is, is pretty good. And peanut oil, it's just, a lot of that other stuff is just, it's just not, it's not good. Butter is better and lard. I like cooking with lard as well. <clears throat> so we are almost there. We should be, we're almost there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say another 30 seconds and then we are ready to go. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Flip them over now. And there's something, there's something just so simplistic about this. You know, if you have kids or whatever, it's a, it's a great thing for, <coughs> if you're, of course you have to supervise them. But show them how it works and get it together and, you know, cook with your kids if you can. My, um, my great-grandmother, she used to cook with me all the time. That's like a really big deal of, as far as my love of cooking in general. All right, let's get this over here. Back up on that a little bit. There you go. So... You get over there, you. And now, my all-time favorite in the world <laughs> is more butter. And I like a lot of butter. Now this stuff here is getting all where we want it. It is just awesome. This stuff is just so, I love this stuff so much. And now a little bit of, um, a little bit of real maple syrup. I got that at Aldi too. And there we go. We're gonna get this here going on like that. Yeah, that's it dog. Whew. Hold on, <laughs> I gotta go sit down. Okay guys, so this is what we got, and I'm getting ready to get into it. I actually found a little piece of parsley. I didn't have any other, uh, like, garnish or anything, so. Okay guys, it's time to get into this thing. Do do do, see what we get.
I tell you, this butter thing <laughs> and real, real maple syrup, real maple syrup, absolutely. Let's see what I got. Oh yeah. All right, guys. That has been a success. Okay, guys. So, well, that was a pretty good success. Uh, please like and subscribe. I am trying to do the best I can with what I have to work with. All right, guys. Thanks for stopping in. I'll go.